Dayton this morning, and we are just days away from the light the night. When while we count down the days to the big night, we are joined by Deanna Keel and Sony Steyer to tell us more about ways you can still help. So good morning to both of you ladies. Thanks for waking up early with us this good, morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Glad to be here. Well, first, tell us a little bit about light the night for people who maybe haven't heard of it. You guys got some props out here. I know I've seen this event. It's fantastic. Well, Light the Night is an event that'll happen at Slugger Field on Thursday, October 10th, and we're really excited about it. It is a walk, however. Registration opens at 5.30. Our opening ceremonies are at 6.45. We'll have a survivor. We'll have somebody that has lost somebody, and we'll have somebody there to talk about just being a caregiver and a supporter for people with leukemia or lymphoma. And that's what Alfred. I was going to say. For people who maybe didn't know what it supports, it is supporting people who are battling leukemia and things Lymphoma like or any other kind of blood cancers, yes. Okay. And tell us a little bit about, I mean, I know it's coming up. How can people still help? There are still opportunities. You can still sign up as an individual or as a team. Um, it's the date is this Thursday, October 10th, but it's not too late. There's plenty of time. And you know, for me as chair, I've done it for the second year, and I have found this evening to be amazingly inspirational. You go to Slugger Field. It's a beautiful walk on the waterfront. So it gives you an opportunity to be with other people who have also experienced either loss or victory. And um, we have all kinds of different things um, for children. And I mean, it's just a really amazing evening. And it's a community event that anyone is invited to. And it looks like a lot of people show up to this event to really support the community. For people who maybe never been to this, you kind of hit on this, Sony, but how can this maybe open their eyes to maybe why these dollars are so important? Do you think that people can maybe walk away with an education maybe they didn't maybe know about it when they came to it? Yeah, I think they definitely can. So a lot of our, our all of our money goes to research. Um, we also are able to give money back to the patients. Um, so if there's an urgent care need, if they need help, like money for lodging or hotels or childcare or gas, because these drugs are so expensive. Um, so we're able to help provide information for that and get them to the right people. We have lots of information about our clinical trials. Um, we're really excited. Out of the past two years, the FDA has approved 54 new um, cancer drugs and 44 have come from LLS funding so we're really excited about that. So the money obviously is a huge part very important as yes. well and can people still donate if they maybe can't make this event this year how can people still donate? If you go to lightthenight.org slash event slash Louisville, that's long. Um, but yes, you can donate on that page and you can call us at our office. We're always looking for people to register or if they'd like to donate, we'd love to have their money. All right. Thanks so much, ladies, for joining us this morning. We want to make sure you have all the details at home. Light the Night is Thursday, October 10th. Registration starting at 530 and the opening ceremonies will start at 645. The walk will take place at the Slugger Field. LLS has a fundraising goal of $500,000. If you'd like to help them reach that goal, you can learn more about Light the Night. Visit lightthenight.org. And WLKY is a proud media partner of Light the Night. We will air a special broadcast for that event.